So I'm happy today I want to talk about uh, how Jesus redeems us or saves us, what's in theology, soteriology. But it's, I think I want to expand it often enough. We say, well, Jesus dies for our sins. I think, what if you don't have any sins or what if there are other issues in your life? How does Jesus make a difference there? And so that's what I'm talking about. And in order to do that, I invite people uh, to kind of think about uh, a moment in their own life where part of them died. You know, when they call it death and dying in everyday life, a symbolic death, not physical death. So, for example, a relationship where someone walks out on you or betrays you could even be a divorce. That's a death. Life is never going to be the same after that. You know, hopefully you might get it back, but maybe not. So life has to go on. It could be finances. Maybe your house is under uh, water or maybe you get passed up at work and you don't get uh, the job that you thought you deserved. That's a death. And it's hard to deal with. And I'm not trying to undergrade that or be negative. I'm just saying these are realities you have to deal with. Health issues, diabetes, or a Crohn's disease. These can be really a death. Life can never be the same when you're trying to live with that every day. And so how do you do that without kind of getting lost and down? Uh, psychological, especially like in university here, we have a number of folks uh, uh, bipolar uh, depression kicks in sometimes at the end of high school, beginning of college. That's a death. Life is never the same. And I'm very sympathetic to that, but how can that be a blessing in a person's life? Uh, and again, another way to talk about these different examples of the other words as well, but uh, a career. Maybe I was going to be a, a doctor. One of my, my godson only had a 3.49 GPA. They wouldn't even look at him for med school. So that's a death. He's never been a pediatrician, which I think would have been a great one because it, it just the whole thing died. Another way to talk about this is, you know, one door gets slammed in my face and it's not going to open again. I invite you to kind of look in your own life. One door, you know, that death gets slammed in your face and it's not going to open again. In that context, I tell you two examples. One about Nick Buchek. You may have seen him. It's pretty popular. He's a guy that's on YouTube, uh, but he was born with no arms and no legs. And the video often opens up, I am Nick and I am happy. How can you be happy with no arms and no legs? He had a Jesus moment. It didn't make a difference. The one that's very close to me is a woman I was teaching at Xavier University in Cincinnati. When she was 12 years old, she went to her family's farm. She lit the stove and it blew up in her face. She's got third degree burns, the most serious on 85% of her body. I'm not uh, her counselor, I'm not her teacher or anything. I've said hello to her a couple of times. But, uh, you know, uh, she's very dynamite. When people ask on campus, who's the most alive person on campus? Nancy. Who's the most alive? Everybody says that. The reality is, Nancy is dead.